WFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of sunny Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 11 a.m. update, and we got a sea of green out there. You've got all the U.S. indices that we track trading to the upside. Dow's up 51. S&P's up 21. That's about a half a percent. One percent for the NASDAQ 100. 138 points there. Three tenths for the Russell, or six points. One and a quarter percent for the semis. They're up 43 points. You've got gold trading out at 1876. It's off two dollars. Silver's up 15 pennies, trading at 2289. Light speed crude off a buck, trading at 970. Two natural gas basically flat out there in the 30 year treasure up one point and two ticks printing out at 114.18. Let's try to figure out what all that means by looking at that nine panel market update chart. We'd be in the upper left hand corner. What do we know about it? Well, we've got a TD nine count bottom inside the ES mini, and you've got a new profile. It went ahead and formed, it completed yesterday. Price is trading right now into the level where both buyers and sellers believe there's fair value inside this range. And the range is 4,300 at the bottom, 441650 50 at the top. In the center, which is where we're trading right now, we're trading just a little bit below it, is at 43.70. Spot volatility is trying to make its way down to the 50-day exponential moving average. That's the key level to be watching. That's priced at 15.40. If price were to close below that at the end of the day, that would suggest we would see this rally extend itself in the next week. If it doesn't, it's always suspect out there. If we take a look at the NQ, it also has a TD9 count bottom, also a new profile. Now, what you don't see here is the oscillator and change line. And the NQ has found resistance at that level. We'll take a look at that during the Trader's Edge show. So she's up at a resistance level. The ES Mini, in essence, is up at a resistance level. And the spot volatility is still above the 50-day exponential moving average. Now, that spot volatility can get below the 50-day. Odds favor the NQ makes it up to its sell zone. That's between 15.298 and 15.509. If you take a look at the U.S. dollar index, that's also another key thing in the play here. You've got a TD9 count top and a new profile. Now, this profile has resistance up at the 10601 level and support at 10478. Just like the ES is sitting at its point of control or it's tested it, so too has the U.S. dollar index, 105.44. Gold's got an A to B equals CD to the downside. Looks like it wants to at least complete that one-to-one -one price projection, 1865.80. Silver, a new profile that's attempting to form. Price has made the round trip. It's been up to the top or very close to it, and the top is at 23.90, and the bottom is down at 22.75. It's got a TD9 count bottom pattern. That gets negated and will turn into an A to B equals CD to the downside with a close below 22.55. I hear the music. That means we're over, but stay tuned for the Trader's Edge Show, folks. If you're off to start your Friday, have a fantastic one, and we'll look forward to speaking with you again soon. Take care. Be safe out there.